here with my good friend juice world we were just kicking it and i was like bro we could just get on live right now and just have a conversation for these fucking people out here i'm with it you're in a you're in a pretty good state of mind i would say right now you seem like you've been going through some shit lately yeah um really just just becoming a healthier person cleansing myself of certain shit so like that's obviously like an obstacle, but I'm getting there, so. You always had issues with drugs even before you started to get famous and uh, rich? Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, it was something that I was into early, low-key due to music. Because, like, I was a music head, so, like, in sixth grade, seventh grade, I'm hearing songs about Sip and Lean. Those are, like, the real influential years, I feel like, especially for, like, a boy. Mm. Like, find out who your role models are, you what you like, basketball, football. That's, like, when you start kind of choosing the dreams you want to chase, damn near. Right. So, like, sixth, seventh grade, I was hooping, I was playing baseball, I was good at both at the time. But I was also, like, freestyling, and I was really into music. Like, I used to damn near worship this shit, like, I was into music so much. So, my family putting me on to all this different music, Future, Gucci, all these niggas talking about drugs, bro. You can't help but ignore how fun or how interesting, at least, they're making Zans and Lean and all the shit sound. Yeah, bro, like... When I heard Future, the first song I ever heard by Future was Ain't No Way Around It. The second song I've ever heard by Future is um, Dirty Sprite, like for off the first Dirty Sprite mixtape. Mm-hmm. And that shit had me wanting to sip lean at like 11, 12 years old, bro. Yeah. So, you know, I ain't know if that was what I was really finna be doing, but... But sure. Future, more than any other artist, I feel like has is kind of known for like, yes, he talks about Zans, yes, he talks about all that shit, but it's sad. Like he's he's portraying it as what it is more often than not. He's yeah. letting you know that like he has a rocky relationship with drugs, in the sense that there are some artists I can name who are all just saying, "Ooh, Molly Perky." Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no offense to Quavo, who I just sort of uh, sounded like there for a second, but I mean, some artists make it sound a little too fun. I feel like future is good and also you're good because you are like clearly like telling this tale that is sort of a harrowing tale of like, yeah. you know, doing drugs and sort of losing your mind. You don't make it sound fun all the time. I mean, cause that's, I think the the representation that me and people like, like future, you know, future being, you know, one of the goats. Um, we don't talk about it from a good point of view or a bad point of view. We talk about it from a realistic point of view. So it's like what we're going through, how we feel, if we're with, you know what I'm saying, if we ain't doing it at the moment, if it's, you know what I'm saying, if I'm hurting, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's a realistic point of view um, when it comes to, like, the shit that motherfuckers experiment with mm-hmm. and shit that people, you know, shit that I've been through. So, yeah. Before you started getting famous, though, you were probably limited on money and resources in terms of getting fucked up, and then all of a sudden you a, got too much that's a money. Good thing, no? And getting fucked up is cheap. But all of a sudden... No, I mean, I feel like that's a good thing because think about how burnt out I'd be mm. if I had the resources to get high every... You know what I'm saying? Think about how, especially you discovering something new, you want as much as that as possible. This, all this shit got you feeling like... You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, So, like, think about how, how burnt out somebody would be if they, from the start or whatever the fuck they doing, if they use it to the max from that... What? That shit would be fucked up. Do you feel like... You fell into that trap though, as like as you started to get money and stuff, you just started to do more and more drugs and kind of let it get bad. Um, not to the fullest. It's not like really that horrible, cause like you know I'm hearing some shit like from other motherfuckers that could relate and right. shit. But it's bad to me, shit. I know how I feel, so like I would say I guess somewhat. 